Hey everyone, it's Mike McPherson here. I just wanted to share with you a way to customize your navigation bar on your new agent websites. Uh, it's a process that's fairly easy and you can replace the one that KW um, has provided for you originally and allow you to put in some additional content, um, especially some forwards to some other websites or some other functionality that you might want to have for your clients. So check this out. So here we have our new KW uh, agent websites. And they've put together this menu bar that has an about me, search properties, a link to the blog, and then more. And more currently only contains just the leave a review. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually copy these because we can't edit this actual menu bar. And then we're gonna create a whole new navigation one for you. So what I would recommend, and I found this uh, to be the best way for me to kind of really figure out what I wanna do for my menu bar at the same time, was just go to, you know, bring up a, a doc page, you know, whether it's Word or Google or whatever, and let's outline uh, what we're gonna put here, right? So I wanna actually keep all of these, so, and I'm just gonna add to them. Uh, so I'm gonna copy them here, and we'll go to the little document, and let's paste that with a little formatting, great. So now what I need to do is I need to copy the links for each of these and I can kind of plan out my menu bar. This will make it really easy when you actually go to build it. So back to my agent website, um, I can either click on the about me and just copy this whole URL up here at the top and then just paste it in for here so that I have it. There we go. And then for the other ones, you can actually even just right click on them if you wanted to and just do, um, you know, copy the link address. So we'll do that for search properties. And the same with blog. And then under the more button, I'm gonna bring this out as a tab just to kind of show me where I wanna have things. I can have leave a review. And let's make sure we copy that one also. There we go. Cool. All right, so what's some other content that I also want to have here uh, with my menu bar? Well, I would like to have something to download my app. So I'm actually going to put that one up here. So I'm going to say download my mobile app. And if we go into command, we can actually uh, just go down here to the consumer applet. And right below the edit my website, we can actually copy that URL. So I'm going to copy that here. And we'll put that here as well. So now I'm going to have about me, download my mobile app. Then we're all going to have search properties. And the blog. Cool. So under more, I'm going to want to put a couple of other things here. So for me, I like to have a free uh, home valuation. And I use Cloud CMA, so I'm going to go and grab my Cloud CMA um, URL, and I will uh, copy that in there as well. I'm also going to do uh, join KW. And I might say that a little differently. I might do maybe start or grow your real estate career. There we go. Okay. So I just need to grab some links of where I'm going to have people end up when they click on those. So this is what's going to be my custom nav bar that I'm going to add. And you can feel free to do other ones for yourself as well. Maybe you want to do um, service areas, uh, things of that nature. You could just do a search on your agent site and just copy that URL as well. But I'm going to go with these and get those up and rolling. Cool. Okay, so I am back into command. I'm down here at the consumer applet. And I'm going to go in and start making those changes uh, to my navigation bar. So I'm going to click on edit my website and that will launch the editor. So this can be a little confusing. It's a little bit different from what we've seen before, but I think the more that you use it, um, the navigation will be uh, second nature to you. So for this, we're not going to add any of these quick start 
uh, things here. We need to go up here to the little stack up on the top left. And we need to go to organization site. So when I do that, it's going to bring up a whole bunch of other little options here. I'm going to scroll down until I see the one that says navigation provider. So here I have an option of either inherited, which is the KWRI one that they've supplied us with, or I can go to custom org site navigation. So I'm going to click on that. And then I can either choose to use the default one if I wanted to, the agent default navigation, which is the same as the KW one. Um, or you can say I've already kind of done this, but I'm going to walk through it again with you guys here. I'm going to come up here and hit Create New. So when I do that, it's going to ask me uh, for a couple of things. I do need a name for that navigation menu. So I'm just going to put in New Nav Menu. And then I can start adding items. So when I click on the plus button, it's going to ask me if I want simple navigation or social. Social is for social media. So I don't want a link for that. What I do want is just a simple navigation item so that I can use URLs. So let's select that. And then that gives me another panel. So I'm going to work with the main tab here. And that's going to give me the ones for um, About Me, um, the Download My App that I have outlined. Um, on my page um, and then anything that's going to have an item that's a drop down that's when we move over to sub navigation but we'll get to that in a minute so for right now I'm going to start with the first one and that's going to be um, the about me section right so we're going to start and I'm going to type in about me and then I'm going to copy this URL and we'll be able to paste that in in the appropriate uh, thing. Quick little side note, I did add a few other things uh, in here real quick. I, we do a local market stats uh, for our market center, so I'm going to add that tool in. I did grab my cloud CMA. Uh, for Grow Your Real Estate Career, uh, we all have access to locations.kw.com. If you also add in a forward slash location forward slash your market center number, um, you get a nice little um, page that KW has already put together. Um, so if somebody fills it out, it does go um, to either your OP or your MCA, uh, which is really good. So that being said, let's um, move on and start building our navigation. So I copied these, so I'm going to head back over here and put those in. So here for the text here, I'm going to put, um, instead of about me, I think I'm just going to put about Mike, make it a little bit more personal. So what I'm going to do here is I'm now going to come down and click on where it says link. I'm going to change this to external. So when I do that, it's going to ask me for a URL, and I'm simply just going to paste in the URL that I had for my About Me page. And that's it for that. That's all set. So we can actually hit Publish on this one, and that gives me my first item. So you can see my first navigation item is here. And then I'm just going to simply go through and add in the rest of them. So again, simple navigation. The next one I'm going to put in is the download my mobile app. Scroll down, make sure we change this from internal to external. I'm going to grab my URL. I'm going to paste that in. And we're going to keep doing that and hitting publish for all of the items that I want on my navigation menu. And those are the ones excuse me, that are going to be here, okay, right here at the top. So keep going through with those, and I'll catch up with you when we go to tackle this more button. Okay, so I have added in my other navigation items for search properties and for blog, and now we're going to add in that drop-down menu for more. So I'm going to click on that plus button again, do simple navigation, except here, instead of navigation link, I need to change this to navigation text. So it's not actually going to be something I can click on that brings me somewhere. It just opens up the menu. And I'm simply going to name this more. You could name yours menu or do whatever you like on yours. But for me, I'm going to stick with more because I think that's a little bit more um, contemporary with sites nowadays. So as soon as you do that, you can hit publish. And then you'll see you now have a simple navigation item more. We're actually going to go in and open that up by clicking on it. And now we're going to switch over to sub-navigation. So sub-navigation works the same way. We're just going to add in the next item. So we're going to click on that navigation link. 
uh, don't worry about these other items. Um, we're just going to keep putting links in with these navigation link items. So same scenario. What's going to be my next thing here? I think for here I'm going to use my local area market stats. So we're going to put that one in there. So we'll copy that. Make sure we change that link from internal to external. I can copy that URL. Paste that in and then hit publish. And as you can see, I've now started with my simple navigation that's coming in here. So I can just keep adding to those. Great. So you can see I have the local area market stats. I'm just going to keep hitting add. I'm going to put in the rest of them and then we'll show you how to update it. Okay, I have finished um, putting in all of my sub navigation for my more button. So you can see I have my local area stats, my free home valuation, start or grow your career in real estate, and the lever review that I had from my original uh, menu. Uh, if at any time you ever need to delete any of these, you can just hit the little minus button. Um, those will take those out, and then just make sure that you hit publish. So now that I've put everything in and I've published all of these uh, menu items, I can click on the back button here and then I can click save. Great. So it is saying that I have an error. So I'm going to scroll through and see what that might be. And I think we just needed to select the actual, the new one that we put together, right? So that new nav menu. So it's just prompting me to do that in case you forget. So I'm going to put on the new nav menu. I'm going to hit save again. And it looks like we are good to go. So I'm going to go back to my agent um, site page. I'm actually going to click on my logo here to bring me back to the home screen. And as you can see, my menu has changed. So I now have About Mike. I have my Download My Mobile app, uh, which brings me to the, uh, the mobile app page for download um, that somebody can do that. So you have your branded version of your app. Um, I also have my search properties, my blog, and then under my more button, you can see that I have those other items uh, that I want to share out on my website. And that's how you do your navigation bar. So if you would, please leave some comments um, for this video. That'd be great. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you thought that this was helpful. I'll continue to post more videos as we have other things to share. And embrace the new agent sites. I think they're really going to be heading in the right direction for us. Functionality is a little bit limited now, but I think with this content that I just showed you, you can really make it into something that works for your business um, as we continue to have the latest rollouts from KW. Have a great day.